Good morning, Connection Church. Let's stand and worship the Lord. We're going to declare his power today. We're going to declare his greatness today. We're going to declare his goodness today. You're the only answer to the darkness. You are the voice that calls me on, louder than every lie, my soul in every fight, the truth will chase away the night. Your name is power, your name is power, over darkness, freedom for the captives, mercy for the broken and the hopeless, your name is faithful in the battle. Your name is power. Your name is power. You're the only answer. You're the only answer to the darkness. You're the only right among the wrong. You're the only hope among the chaos. 
You are the voice that calls me on Louder than every lie My sword in every fight The truth will chase away the night Your name is power over darkness Freedom for the captives Mercy for the broken and the hopeless Your name is faithful in the battle in the struggle, mighty, it won't let us down or fail us. Your name is power. Your name is power. I know it is written, hope is certain. I know that the word will never fail. situation you speak the power to prevail louder than every lie my soul in every fight the truth will chase away the night his name is power your name is power Hallelujah. for darkness freedom for the captives mercy for the broken and the hopeless your name is faithful in the battle, glory in the struggle. Mighty, it won't let us down or fail us. Your name is power. Your name is power. When you speak, you scatter darkness. Light arrives in heaven opens. Holy Spirit, let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. We believe the change is coming. Holy Spirit, let us see it. When you speak, you scatter darkness. Light arrives and heaven opens. Holy Spirit, let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. Mercy for the broken and the hopeless. Your name is faithful in the battle, glory in the struggle. Mighty, it won't let us down or fail us. Your name is power over darkness. Your name is power in the chaos. Your name is
your heart. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Well, it's all good. Verse 3 says, Come, let us tell the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. I'm going to push you out of your comfort zone today because I'm totally out of mine. But I want you to do, I want you to follow me. You follow my lead. It says in here we're to exalt his name together. We got to practice that. So we're going to do it three sections at a time. So while they're playing in the background, I'm going to come to this section. What I want you to do first is just, you guys just listen to the sound of praising. You need with the best of your voice, whatever words you want to say, you can pray in English, you can pray in spirit, you can sing another song, whatever you want to do. I want you to exalt his name. Tell him how wonderful it is. Go ahead, begin this thank group. You, oh Lord, we thank you for all you're doing. We worship you and honor you. Lord, we're amazed at everything we're doing in your life. Thank you for blessing every person over this section. In Jesus' name. Okay, hold still. It's hard to hold still, isn't it? Okay, now I'm coming to this group. All right, you guys be quiet over there. Just you guys, all right? I want you to exalt his name like you never have before. Go ahead. Lord, we praise you. Father God, we worship you for who you are. Lord, you're amazing. We love you, Lord. Lord, we could go on and on and exalt your name forever. Your praises, they're new every morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you got to stop. Okay, be silent. It's hard. It's hard to stop, isn't it? It's hard to stop. Okay, now it's up to you guys, all right? Get ready. You have everything that's in you. Ready? Good. Start to praise him. Father, we praise you, Lord. We glorify you for who you are. Lord, for being in our presence at this moment, for just being here and joining us. Enjoy the day. Our fellowship with one another. Father God, there's nothing better than you. In Jesus' name. Okay, we're not done now. Everybody all together. Oh, Father God, lift your hand. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. There's nobody like you. You. There's nobody like you. You're amazing, God. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Keep praising you. Worship you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. Yes, let's sing it now. Come on. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out of praise. Pour out of praise. It's your breath in our
greatness of God. Lord, just to hear us, to extol together the praises of you, the praises of what you're doing. You've always been good to us. You're good to us even now. Lord, we just rejoice in this time. Father God, thank you for the opportunity just to gather together as your people. Lord, let us be the salt and light to this earth you've desired us to be. Lord, help us to continue, Lord, to, to not only know you, but to, to, to find the freedom that we need to be released to do what you want to do, to truly understand our purpose, to shed your light, to share the gospel, and truly make an eternal difference in people's lives. We believe it, Father God, and we rejoice in that today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, all right? Find a neighbor and give them a high five or say hello or do something. Man, we're glad to see you here today. Thank you, worship team. Thank you so much. Woo, man. Wow. So good to see everybody and be together once again. We'll go ahead and let, uh, uh, let uh, somebody hit the lights for us so, so you guys can see, you know, uh, get some, so you can see what you're writing down. Because I think you're going to take lots of notes today. I just, uh, as you can tell, I'm, the reason I'm so pumped up is because I sense all of you. I just, there's something when I woke up this morning, I knew that some, God was going to do something very unique and special in us today. And so I just want you to just, yeah, I just want you to just rela not relax, what's the right word? Receive what he has for you today with the word. But just a little bit of church news, just what's going on before we get into that. I don't want to upset the, uh, the trend of what we're going here because you, I got you guys, you were, you were screaming it. You were, wasn't it cool? It was, I mean, I do that sometimes. I just like, during worship, I just stop and I just listen to everybody. And you're just like, and you had the opportunity today when you were like, people were, were just shouting joy and then you'd hear the other section. And then when we all got together, my goodness, somebody did something. I mean, it just opened up. And imagine for our Lord and Savior what that must be. Um, yeah, in the middle of a, yeah, whatever. We are free, amen. It's exciting to see what God's doing. Hey, so just a couple, a little bit of church news. One thing I like to, the first Sunday of every month, I think it's an important thing, and it's we have our growth track. And so this is the chance, the opportunity, you get a free binder, all right, when you go through your growth track. All right, in the middle of worship, the Lord said, get your binder. I said, okay, so I had to, I'd be obedient and go out and make it and get it. Um, we meet after church for three weeks. So the first Sunday, we do step one, which is the first portion. It takes about 40 minutes. You get to hear what it's like to be a part of the church, the vision, helps us all move forward together. Week two is my favorite week, which we'll do next week. Oh, it's Mother's Day. Um, we'll probably move that to the third week, because uh, I want you to take care of your mamas, and you know, I mean, we're not going to stay late for after church next week. And, uh, but then the second one is where we go over just the spiritual giftings and personalities that God's given you, and you actually take an assessment, and you see, oh, I get it, hair. I get it. I, that's why you made me this way. So much of the time, we don't realize that God has given you specific gifts and directions, and he wants you to use them. And so we're excited because when we match all this up, we help you find ways to minister in the church and outside the church. And so, and then finally, the very last session, we'll get together, and we will um, uh, kind of show you in the church. You'll meet all the pastors and elders and, and direction, and, and they'll say, hey, come work with me, come work with me. And, and that's when everybody fills out all these applications. And so that's pretty exciting. So we'll do that today. Um, we're rearranging all the rooms. It's pretty exciting. Did you notice that lobby when you walked in? Oh, man, yeah. And so uh, it's bright. It's new lights. And so we're re repurposing that room behind there. We'll be doing growth track in there eventually, but it'll probably take us another few weeks. So if you would like to start growth track step one today, just do me a favor. You don't have to raise your hand now, but come find me or Miss Cindy, Pastor Cindy, right after church, and then we'll find a spot where we can go and do this. Uh, so just come join me. We would love to have you be a part. All right. Uh, is that the only one I had? I think so. And so uh, that's good. All right. Here's what I want you to do today. I would like you, before I begin, uh, th we're starting a new series today. And uh, oh, oh, I was going to bring this up. So you, when you walked in, you probably received a worship guide. Do me a favor. Um, inside, if you'd like to follow along with me, I always put some notes. Some people that works well. Some people it doesn't. They'll also be behind me. I encourage you, though, to grab a pen or pencil. Take a few notes along the way. Uh, I think it helps, but what's important in here is in here there's also what we call a connection card, and at the very bottom there's a place for any prayer requests that you have. Please take some time. If it's very personal, if you just want our pastors and elders to pray for it, you can mark confidential, and it'll just stay within us. If it is, put your name there and what the prayer request is. If it's you'd love the whole church praying, or what I call our, our 
pastors, elders, and Saturday prayer team, right? I mean, we'll come. Then this Saturday, we come, we spread them out right up front, and we, we put them out here, and we pray over them during the service. And so we would love the opportunity to do that. Uh, it's perforated for your privacy, so, so you can separate it from your personal info. If it's your first time with us, please, please give us your name and address. Um, contact info. I promise I will not come visit you. I will not email you. I will not even text you, uh, but I will send you a letter on a uh, fine 24-pound paper that says, we're glad you're here. We'd love to have you come back. And so that's what we will do. We just think it's important to honor people. Once you get to know each other, then we'll, we'll trade information back and forth, all right? If you make any kind of decision today for the Lord, mark that on there. Uh, there's, there's opportunity to do that. Again, just so that we can connect with you and pray over you over these decisions. So that's what that's all about. And then at the end of service, we don't take an offering here. Every, we, we just want you to, if we believe in tithing the principle, and you hear about that in Growth Track, we believe that the Lord prompts you to give, and so we have an offering box back there with an envelope. You can put, you can fold this, just put it in the box back there, and uh, we, will, we will take care of that. So that's that information there. All right, you guys ready? Did you, notice, did you notice the cover of this? It's miracles. And uh, I've been working on